the second and I should hopefully get this working on both so if you can see me on Facebook let me know <clears throat> so that I can check to see where we're up to okay so it looks like um, we are live on Facebook and on here let's see Mm. On YouTube, are we live? Um, let me see. Okay, so on Facebook are we live we should be live on Facebook hopefully you can hear me if you can't please do let me know um, on YouTube it's still doing something strange so yeah I'm doing well thank you nice to see you Eric how are you um, I am just trying to get Facebook uh, YouTube started up and hopefully I can get them both working. Uh, last week I had problems with YouTube and I ended up going in later and it worked, which is strange. Okay, I'll have to. Um, with the YouTube, I think I'm gonna have to uh, set it up again, I think. Mm. Okay, let me see. For some reason it wasn't setting up. Okay, um, copy that and um, let's see. Okay, boop. I can see people arriving. Yes, good, good, good. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you. Hello, Anya. Hello, everyone. Um, hi, Chris. Anya, so you're all there. ¿Qué tal? Todo bien en México. ¿Qué tal? It's um, yeah, it's really cool to uh, to get these working. My goal was to get YouTube and <laughs> and Facebook working at the same time. Anya, you will know my struggles with this trying to get it on two different channels. Um, but we're tr I'm trying it and trying it and seeing if it gets there. Hopefully, we will get there and it will work. Um, let me just check to see where I have to add something in. Um, doo -doo -doo. I think I'm possibly missing a step on Facebook, on YouTube. Okay, um, that's that. There we go. Um, Hopefully, it will start. It will set up nicely, and um, he says, mm, "I'm not having much luck with this at all on YouTube, unfortunately, and I don't understand why not." Again. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult, unfortunately. Guten Abend, schönen guten Abend. Okay, nice to see you too, Carmela. Thank you for coming. Todo bien en Cholula. So everything's going well in Cholula. Zdravo, Ana. Kako? Dobro? Cześć. Jak się mamy? Yeah, Wojtek, nice to see you again. Bardzo mi miło. Jak się mamy w Toronto? Interesujące tam. Jest myślę, że no tam. A macie tam też um, izolację? Czy coś innego? Słuchałem, że, że mają dużo problemów tam w, w Quebecu. Także sam słychał, ale. Słychałem, ale nie wiem. Na pewno. Jak sam widziałem teraz w telewizji tutaj, no to je było bardzo komplikowane. 
ne tylko um, tutaj w Makedonii, ale też uh, w innym kraju. Ne? Także hola, boa tarde, <laughs> tudo bem, <laughs> David. Hola, que tal, best met. Technical problems, yeah, there are a real pain. Technical problems are the bane of my life <laughs> with these. I'm gonna get better at this as we as we move on, I'm sure. So I don't know if any of you saw what happened last week, but I tried to get it to work on both YouTube and Facebook. And what happened was I ended up doing it on Facebook at 5 p.m. And then I got onto uh, YouTube to test it out because it didn't work at seven and it went live and people joined the, the live stream. So I just talked for another hour, which was really nice because I got lots of nice people coming through, which is lovely. Um, Oh, Mark, Jonapo, you are still Kivanok. How do you Let's see, Wojtek. Ogólnie dobrze. Tak masz rację. No tak, właśnie. Tutaj to jest na pewno bardzo trudne skazać, jak to będzie teraz. Ja nie wiem, właśnie. To było ko. Jako ze szkole, na, na przykład tutaj, um, ja myślałem, że nie będę um, otwarty, ale teraz chyba tak. <laughs> Także teraz moja córeczka ma uh, szkołę online, a ja myślę, że no to, to, to by było tak, ja myślałem, że to by było tak teraz do, do końca um, roku, ale ja myślę teraz, że no będzie w przyszłym uh, Uh, miesiące będzie jeszcze szkolą, jeszcze, jeszcze ja, uh, także ja nie wiem. Uh, hola, buenos días, ¿qué tal? En México también, Alexis, ¿qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Uh, Natalia, hello everyone, hello Lilian, hello, ¿quién você está aprendiendo ahora? Uh, ahora mismo estoy haciendo un proyecto con Mauri y también estoy uh, Estou aprendendo também outras, outras línguas que já sei ou já tenho estudado uh, no passado, mas agora mesmo sou Mauri, também o Basco, um pouco. Eu gosto muito do Basco. Era um acidente porque eu não tenho um plano a uh, estudar Basco, mas uh, tenho uma, uma professora muito boa e por isso eu. Queria fazer um pouco de basco também. <laughs> Olá, Natália. Oh, loads of uh, Brazilians. Fantastic. Lovely. I love Brazilian Portuguese. I love Brazil, actually. It was fantastic. It's one of my favorite places to go. Okay. Niha, Niha, Yang. Niha, Ma. Salut de Montréal. Bah, salut de Montréal. Je dirais comme ça. Vic Van. <laughs> ça va bien. Mais tu sais tu que j'ai appris le québécois quand j'étais avant d'aller au Québec. J'essaie d'apprendre un peu le québécois pour voir comment ça marche avec le québécois là-bas. Mais euh, enfin, pour moi, c'était plus facile parler français parce qu'ils croyaient que je parlais pas très bien français quand je parlais québécois. Et puis quand j'ai commencé à parler français vraiment comme avec mon accent plutôt européen, euh, c'était... Euh, En fait, je n'ai plus de succès parler avec eux en, en français. Parce que si je parle québécois, ils pensent que je suis anglophone. <laughs> c'est bizarre, c'est hyper bizarre. Um, uh, how can you speak several... Uh, okay, speak several questions about learning a new language. I already speak Arabic, French, English, Spanish, and now I'm willing to start Italian. The deal is that I'm scared to lose my Spanish. Yeah, this is one thing uh, for sure. When you learn... Uh, the languages that are, are similar, then it can get to the point where you feel that you're losing it. And I think you just have to try and see how it goes. Um, often the reason behind that is because you're not as confident or into the first language. So it doesn't feel as secure and as bedded in. Sometimes though, even with languages you speak well, when you learn a new language that's similar, you can confuse the languages and it's very normal. It happened to me too, uh, for some of them. And every now and again, I'll mix words up. It's not the end of the world. It really isn't. Um, some people sort of think that you're kind of a robot and you're just going to be able to do it. And it's not real life, unfortunately. Um, it's absolutely normal. I mean, even in your own mother tongue, sometimes you get used to a word in a different language more and more and more. And um, 
and then you start using it in your language and it's, it's wrong. So don't worry about that, try. And look, I always say the important thing is communication. So um, I think even if you just communicate in another language, it's really, really cool. Um, ¿Cuántos idiomas hablo? Um, Lilian, es que es difícil decir esto porque como que hablo con unos cinco en casa, así que cinco en casa y luego fuera de casa unos diez más y luego pues para trabajo también a lo mejor otros diez para trabajo, así que unos veinticinco para, para mi vida normal y, y luego después pues he estudiado más que cincuenta. Uh, pero son siempre idiomas que, que puedo utilizar así como para mi, para mi vida cotidiana. Así que no voy muy lejos. Sé alguna cosa de unos idiomas más extranjeros como el japonés o como el chino mandarín. Pero, pero bueno, lo más importante, para el más útil para mí, para mi vida, son los idiomas de aquí de Europa, la verdad. Uh, pero sí, sí que vivo en, en un sitio donde se habla bastante idioma. Así que por eso sí que uso bastante. Saludos desde Bolivia. Hola, ¿qué tal, Álvaro? ¿Tien? ¿Todo bien? Uh, ¿Usted habla bien portugués? Oh, muy obrigado, David. Muy obrigado. Yo no uso portugués mucho, Manuda, mucho ahora, mucho, porque aquí en Macedonia no tenemos con quién hablar portugués. Entonces, yo estudié, estudié portugués de Portugal en la universidad. Entonces, yo hablaba sin consultar con más portugués de Portugal europeo. Mas depois de, depois de alguns nossos meses, antes de ir para o Brasil, eu comecei a falar mais com a pronunciação brasileira. Eu não, eu não sei que não tenho um, um, um sotaque brasileiro, mas é mais aperto agora para poder uh, comunicar as minhas ideias mais facilmente com os brasileiros. Porque quando fiquei uh, aí no Brasil, estava a falar com a gente e a gente não... Não, não, não compreendi nada de nada que eu estava dizendo no, no português de, de, de Portugal. Uh, é como, é, você fala, mas tipo raro. <risos> Sim. Uh, e, e também está aprendendo um pouco de Nahuatl. Sim, um pouco de Nahuatl também. A ver se vou aprender um pouco mais, Anja. Não gostaria, por que não? Parfait, meu accent, é verdade? Ah, mas c'est <rire> Moi, je dirais que non, mais, mais c'est très gentil, c'est très gentil, ça fait alors. Euh, enfin, pour moi, c'est ça. J'adore les accents. Et j'adore le Québécois. Pour moi, c'est vraiment c'est cette manière de parler français que j'adore. Et donc, quand j'étais au Québec, j'aimais bien entendre l'accent québécois. Euh, pour moi, c'est vraiment très intéressant d'écouter entendre un accent différent en français et pour moi c'est ça euh, tu sais tu que même la, la, la grammaire du, du québécois vraiment est, est bien beau <rire> non c'est c'est vraiment c est, c est, pour moi c'est une langue hyper belle hein. j'adore le québécois euh, salut di Berna salut Giuliana tout au bien hein Allora, anche l'italiano, eh, va benissimo, perché è una lingua che parlava moltissimo tu, ma adesso purtroppo non ho, non ho più i miei amici italiani, quindi sono tornato in Italia, l'uso per il lavoro, anche per, con gli amici su internet, ma insomma, quotidianamente qua adesso non, ho, non uso così tanto. Uh, do you have any level of port? any level about Portuguese? Do you have any level about Portuguese, Paulo? A level of Portuguese? I guess my Portuguese, I studied it in university, so I, I studied it quite a lot. Um, we, the, the CFR levels, the A1 to C2 levels, didn't exist really, or they weren't very well known when I was studying at university. They came out later. Um, zdravo, zdravo svima. <laughs> hey, zdravo, Alexandra. Kako si? Dobra li si? I serbi li si ili kako? Odakle? Adi, kaži. Privjet, privjet, vajko, kak djel, hrašo, vse normalno je zdjez. Kak po ruski? No, hrašo, normalno. Ja govorim po ruski normalno, pa tomu što nas žel v Kišnjevi. Tam nada govoriti po ruski, po romunski tože. I tam naučil govoriti po ruski. Šas... Я не проживаю очень часто, потому что здесь в Македонии в принципе нет э, людей из России. 
но это тоже славянский язык и похоже со много македонского, и поэтому никогда я не могу не говорить по-русски, понимаешь. Как ты, ты откуда? Из России? And uh, started making mistakes in my Portuguese while learning. Yeah, you you will sometimes do that. Absolutely, Elena. I totally understand that completely. Um, I've had the same problems. Absolutely. Um, Matthias, I agree with you. Learning similar languages a bit complicated. Absolutely, it, it, it can get very complicated, um, especially if you're not familiar with one of them really really well it can if you, if you pick a second language that's close to another language you speak um before you've got to a high level in the first language it can get super complicated um absolutely <laughs> é ótimo obrigado paulo obrigadinho sim um fashion dead maria cie cie me do shipper flat tani a que é de classe no june shipper na internet Në për mua, në regull këtu, uh, nuk kam në këtë të, të flasë të një, sëpse në shtëpi, vetëm në shtëpi, shto dit, s'ka as një, <laughs> as një, as një plan për të, të flasë me, me gruan ti me nuk mundëm, sëpse nuk flatë shqip, <laughs> dhe vetëm në, në qitet këtu në flasë shqip, me, me një rez në Macedonia, por tani, unë nuk mund të, to school in the chitet, normal. Um, how do you learn vocabulary faster? Um, uh, I'd honestly say that learning vocabulary faster, I don't know if there's such a thing as faster. I'd say that when you learn a language, languages that are similar and language and vocabulary becomes very close to each other, so you get sort of free words, that's when it feels like it's going quicker, but I don't think it really is quicker. I think it's more, you you feel that you're picking it up more quickly than say a language that you have zero connection with. So for example, with me learning, um, even learning a language like, let me think, like if I learn a language like Indonesian, which I've, I've studied before, there are some Arabic words that are in there. There are some words from Indonesian that went into other languages that I've studied. And um, it's weird that you, you kind of find these words. So words like present, a present that you buy, like is uh, hadiyah, is hediyah, which is Arabic and Turkish too. Word like a tool, which is alat. Alat is also in Arabic and in uh, Turkish. And I know these through Turkish and Macedonian. Uh, Macedonian, we have the word alat as well. Um, so you get these, and the word for world as well, the word for world in Indonesian is dunya. Uh, dunya is the same in, in, in Turkish, and I think it's Arabic too. And um, all the Persian words like uh, patlijan uh, for like an aubergine, um, which is the same in Turkish, but in Macedonian it means um, a tomato. Um, you get these really weird words, and sometimes it helps you to sort of mix things up. What I also find is if you speak a language that has kind of similar sounds, it helps you to have hooks to remember things. So, um, or if the, if the word happens to exist in another language as well, um, I try and remember the meaning from one language and the other, and then try and make it a visual, um, sort of a, a story or something to help me remember them better. Um, Mas tu tá que parece fluente com... Eu devo dizer, obrigado, Natália. Obrigado, não sei. Agora eu gosto muito do Brasil. E do brasileiro também. Uh, o sotaque brasileiro, muito, muito bonito. Uh, mas sim, agora eu pode ser que tenha mais bem um, um sotaque... Quando fala assim, normal. Uh, um sotaque mais com meio atlântico. <risos> pode ser também. Uh, Oi, Jesus. Nice to see you. Uh, muito prazer, uh, italiano, sim. Si. Alessandro, tudo bem? <laughs> Dove sei adesso? Cosa fai? In Itália, como vai a situação adesso? Porque eu vejo muito spesso qua, c'è anche a televisão italiana uh, in Macedonia, quindi possiamo vedere quello que succede lì. Uh, uh, que tal mi, Jorge, no, no, no muy bien, Gamar Jobat uh, Rogor Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, unfortunately. No hablo muy bien, Jorge. No, era un idioma para mí que nunca había escuchado hablar. Y estaba estudiando en la universidad en, en Suecia. 
um, aprendí a comunicar algunas cosas básicas, pero más de esto no, la verdad. Uh, ¿Qué tal con tus estudios del idioma? ¿Te parece difícil, fácil? ¿Tienes con quién hablar? Eso es lo más importante, en mi opinión, ¿eh? tener con, con quién hablar y practicar el idioma y escuchar el idioma también. Um, Gosto de escutar falando português. Obrigado, Jesus. Eu também gosto muito de falar português. É uma língua que não, não falo quase nunca aqui na Macedónia. Uh, não temos portugueses brasileiros, não temos. Uh, não temos tampouco da Ásia. Da Ásia, muito pouca gente. Mas línguas como o português, para mim, com que é uma língua muito vinculada à língua espanhola. Eu acho que não. Não, não posso esquecer uma língua assim, porque como base, como fundamento de, de, da língua, a gramática de base é isso. Então, e também o vocabulário, depois de não sei quantos anos estando uma língua como o português, para mim sim é uma coisa mais natural falar. E, e por isso eu posso fazer muitos uh, erros em português, mas não, não faz mal. <risos> uh, Merhaba, uh, memorize. Oh, sorry, here we go. Jerry's, have I ever used memorize? Yeah, I have. Actually, memorize are a really good uh, group of people. And I have um, I have a good relationship with the with the team and the company because they've been sponsors of the Polyglot Conference um, a number of times. And I've been to their offices. They're a lovely, lovely uh, group. And they do a lot of hard work to, to really get the courses uh, where people need them to be. Um, so I, I know people who work on course development and um, and have known people who worked on it in the past as well. And they're very quality people. So so yeah, um, Memorize is a great, a great product and, and they're great people. Um, italiano, Italiano. Italiano, Italiano. Solo scrivi questa, Alessandra. Cosa succede con te? Italiano, Italiano. Va bene. Ma non posso parlare italiano, solo Italiano qui. Va bene così. Ok. Um, let's see. Um, hey, there's a Huli. Or Sede or a part in the day. Uh, can do part. Okay, sorry, I was reading that like <laughs> Norwegian from the beginning. I'm sorry. Can do prata norsk också? Ja, jag, jag snackar lite norsk. Jag förstår det normalt. För mig är det svenskar för mig min första uh, skandinaviska språk. Um, men uh, men jag, jag har lärt norsk uh, när jag var i Norge. Och jag snackar med norsk med norrmän på norsk. Men det är inte så gott nu. Uh, jag, jag, jag använder bara svenska med, med människor i, 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 i Norden nu. Så för att jag, för mig jag har studerat svenska på universitetet. Och så har jag gjort bara en månad norsk, norska. Och det var jag för några, några år sedan nu. Men om du vill, om du vill använda din norska med mig, ja så gärna. För att jag, 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 jag tror att för mig det, det vore kul att att uh, jag tittar lite grann med på norsk och jag hör lite grann med. Jag, jag har just uh, sett en, uh, en serie på norsk. Uh, Magnork eller någonting. Det var jätteintressant. Uh, det var, ja, det var jättebra. <laughs> Så man ser på norsk. Men ja, just nu är det, är det jätte, jättesvårt för mig att, att snacka uh, norsk så. Uh, för att uh, ja, när, du, när du pratar svenska det är bättre för dig och lättare att prata svenska så, så är, det, är det inte så annorlunda att göra så skillnaden mellan, uh, mellan språken, eller hur? Så för dig. Um, men ja, tack så mycket att du har skrivit för norsk. <laughs> ja, ja, tusen tack. <laughs> um, Saluti da Sicilia. Saluti, tutto bene. Come va in Sicilia adesso? Do you feel that an unfamiliar writing system associated with a particular language can be an impediment in, in the learning process for an English speaker? It, I find that skipping the task of mastering writing system not based on Latin script is a big time saver that allows me to dive into the language faster. Um, uh, absolutely not. Um, it, it, it can. It can be a bit of a time suck with a language script because you're kind of trying to make it work and it's um, it's not easy. Um, 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 one second. Um, 
Yeah, I'd say that for me personally, um, I didn't find the, it's such a huge problem learning different scripts. Um, to le read them very naturally took time. Even for me, the, the, so I mean, the Cyrillic script is the one that I use mostly uh, to read and um, write private messages here. Um, and now for me, it's completely normal. It's almost like reading the reading the Latin alphabet. I mean, I can read it as fast. I read subtitles very quickly in Macedonian. Um, but I, I will say that um, it took time. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really always in awe of people that, that say that they find it zero barrier at all and very easy. Um, it's not that like that for me either. I find that I find um, learning languages with a different script is an extra barrier for me, absolutely. Alessandro, okay, what's your favorite language? My favorite language, Alessandro, I would guess, if I'm honest, German, um, just because I learned it with kids and uh, as an au pair, and um, it has a lot of very, very positive and very good memories attached to it. Um, and I can't, uh, I, you can't sort of, the, 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 for me, the memories, the friendships, the relationships that I have with the language really do um, solidify that kind of, what what's my favorite language and the languages that i really identify with so so yeah for me german um in terms of listening to a language i really love the sound of icelandic i think it's beautiful and um i say yeah for me yeah icelandic the sound and writing system i really love georgian um i love how it looks on the page uh kakosmo <laughs> Mr. Dobro, Dobro, ti kako tamo? Jesse, adi kaži Jesse sad, a sam ovde u skupli. Za mene ovde imamo, ovde svaki, svako nedelju imamo na televiziji ovde iz Srbije jednu emisiju, to je stvarno komedija, to je 24 minuta s Zoranom Kesićom. Stvarno, to je, to je stvarno smešno. E, imamo sve iz Srbije. <laughs> Ka, šta, šta tamo je, kako je, kak, kakva je situacija u Srbiji. Za mene stvarno je mnogo, mnogo smešno. <laughs> e, da i Rasi, ja, ok. Ja iz Rasije, ok. Umeju. A, gruzinska, u, uh, wow. Ermenska, da. Спасибо за <laughs> без проблем uh, для меня это очень интересно uh, знать что по грузински и по армянски это очень трудно uh, и как как на ты uh, как изучал uh, по грузински по uh, по армянски говорить потому что на uh, я изучал но говорить свободно молодец это трудно. Um, so, espero que estés bien. Muchas gracias, Alan. Estoy muy bien, gracias. Estoy aquí en casa, eh, como todo el mundo, o como casi todo el mundo. Y ya es mi séptima semana aquí en casa, así que bastante tiempo estudiando, haciendo cosas, trabajando y tal y cual. Um, I think that you do promote language learning. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so I really appreciate you saying that, saying that you appreciate what I do with language learning. Yeah, I'm, I hope I, I do some good with it. It would definitely be the thing that I would like to say that I hopefully do. I really, really like that people are, you're so positive, that's very kind. Tricks to learn a fast, a new language. Um, should I, ooh, study every day. Um, so fast in terms of time, um, there are no real shortcuts, you have to just study. Um, the real trick is to enjoy it, to think about it constantly, to go over what you're doing in your head all the time, to think about what you're learning, to try and use it at every moment. And slowly but surely, the hours that you spend studying add up. And sometimes you can do that over a relatively short period of time if you're doing a lot of thinking and studying um, over a short period of time and regularly. Um, Wow, okay, so uh, thank you very much. I inspire you to learn languages. That's very cute, that's very sweet. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, so, uh, word similarity between related languages is obvious. Have you, 
have you ever met a lexical similarity among languages that are not related, which couldn't be interpreted as lexical borrowings? Uh, something that could be more related, universal dimension, but is not mum, mama. Um, absolutely, I haven't actually, I've not. Normally, um, the words are because of geographical proximity. So you get this, uh, these borrowings normally are between neighboring countries that maybe the languages aren't related, but because of trade and because of commerce and history, they, they've taken, they've got borrowings because of religion sometimes as well, uh, particularly with Arabic words in Indonesian, I think is, um, obviously with Islam, um, you have words that have gone into different languages. Um, and then, different trading routes as well. You see words going from one language to another that are not related. Um, so days, some of the days of the week in Hungarian are borrowed from, um, and Hungarians don't often know this, uh, they've got words that are borrowed from uh, the Slavic uh, languages. Um, so the Chuturtek is the word for, I think, Thursday, and that's actually the Slavic speakers around. If you say Chuturtek, they know that it's, Chetvertok or Chetvertak or uh, Chetverk, um, and it means the, the, like kind of the fourth day um, because it's got the word Chetiri in there, which is four. Um, so you often get that, um, but no. And Basque obviously has borrowed a lot from Spanish and Welsh in, with English words. They're not related languages, but they, they have borrowings. Um, I often wonder um, about the Chinese word, um, which actually that's one word that I thought was a borrowing and, and I don't know if it is, I don't know if it's happy coincidence. Um, so the word for beer in Chinese is pijo. Um, but I always thought that it was pivo from Russian and they they basically, jo is the regular word in Chinese for alcohol, but um, whether they've made it pijo because of pivo and that's how it came about, I don't know. If any Chinese speakers know, let me know. Oh, no Nihongo Chotto. Young Zepsis, sorry. Dunya <laughs> um, is also the same word in Swahili. Yeah, it would be. I imagine it would be the same word in Swahili. There are, there are quite a lot of Arabic words, I think, as well, that go into some of the African languages, too. It's really, it's really quite interesting, these kind of, I love these, these language, um, sort of these paths that the words take, and you see them popping up in really funny places. I love it. It's one of my favorite th things. Uh, yeah, Kuptov. Ah, Kuptov. Shumir. <laughs> Maria. Shumir. The Persian Shum. When you learn to learn a language, you learn first the conjugations and verbs, or all of them in any order. In any order, but it depends much on the language, because com Com cada língua é diferente e não é a mesma coisa. Então, com uma língua como português, por exemplo, se tens que aprender com os conjugações, porque são muito importantes para falar português. Há mais uma língua, por exemplo, com uh, fino mandarim, ou também com o uh, indonésio. Não tem muito sentido fazer isso, porque uh, são línguas com sem a mesma gramática como as línguas europeias, ou as línguas do latim. Então, Não tens que passar muito tempo fazendo isso, porque é, as coisas mais complicadas são de uma outra parte de gramática. E também é uma questão mais de aprender o vocabulário ou também a pronunciação. Pode ser também importante. Para mim, as coisas mais importantes com uma língua são as coisas de base que você tem que saber para comunicar a sua acidez na língua mesma. Então, isso para mim é a coisa mais importante. Um, so, Deutsch. Deutsch ist aber, aber sehr schwer. Sprechen Sie Deutsch uh, täglich? Ja, auch mit meiner Tochter eigentlich. Also, wir sprechen zu Hause auf Deutsch. Also, Hauptsächlich sprechen wir eigentlich auf Französisch, Mazedonisch und Englisch und dann machen wir so eine Stunde etwa auf Deutsch und Spanisch pro Tag und dann auch für meine Arbeit, wir sprechen, ich benutze auch Deutsch, ich meine, das ist eine sehr wichtige Sprache für mich und ich habe die Sprache immer gemocht und ähm, ich mag die immer noch. <lacht> ähm, ja, und du, Jung, du, du sprichst auch Deutsch, also bist du auch in Deutschland oder... Wo bist du eigentlich? Du hast auf so viele verschiedenen Sprachen geschrieben. Ich habe keine Ahnung mehr, woher du kommst und <lacht> wo du bist. Also sag's mal. <lacht> ähm, 
okay, speak English. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, I'm not speaking English. Normally people tell me off Mohammed for not speaking enough of the other languages. So it's quite funny that you're telling me to speak English. Alhamdulillah, I will speak English. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Yes, I try and make it um, multilingual so that more and more people can um, can follow what I'm saying. Um, I hope that that's um, it's interesting. I will always go between languages. So if I'm not speaking your language, you understand right now. I won't speak for too long. I'll try and speak it short periods of time. Okay. Um, what do you think about linguistic determin? Oh, wow, determinism. Uh, do you think that the language you speak uh, shapes the way one perceives the world and the way you think and act? Interesting, Lucas, interesting question. Um, possibly partly. Um, I think that the way I think, let me give you an example. So my first language is English. I grew up in an English speaking environment as in a monolingual English speaking family. And now I live in mostly my, my world is in Macedonian. Um, that's my, my main language here. And, um, and I would say that I'm still the same person. So my personality isn't different. Um, I definitely still feel that I am me and I'm the same person I was. Um, but the way people perceive me and how I use the language might be different, if that makes sense. So, um, I tend to play with language a lot in English and I play with words and I play with sounds and Macedonian speakers, native monolingual Macedonian speakers don't tend to do that as much, um, if at all. So um, it's sometimes when I do that in Macedonian and I do it in Macedonian, much to the chagrin of my wife, um, I come across possibly as a bit weird, um, <laughs> but um, it's difficult to kind of get rid of that. Um, so I'd say, I perceive it, I try and avoid it, and I try and act like people act in the language and in the culture. Um, it's not always possible when you've when you've got a mother tongue that you're used to and you've grown up with, and when you start adding more languages to it, um, I found that actually now I become a bit of a chameleon um, in terms of I try and pay attention to cultural norms, I try and pay attention to what's acceptable in common speech, uh, so that it's, it, you know, that I, I I can be the same kind of me that I would be in my own uh, culture, if that makes sense. Um, so yes and no is the answer to the question, which is probably a very boring answer, but I hope um, you found some in <laughs> some entertainment in my story. Uh, uh, pues, la verdad es que para mí era así, aprender un idioma bien de una familia, por ejemplo, está muy bien y muy importante, y luego aprender otro idioma de una familia está bien, pero lo, luego uh, intentar practicar los dos idiomas a la vez, entonces para, no, para poder separar los idiomas, y eso sí que es muy importante. Uh, para mí era así cuando trabajaba en, en el Reino Unido, antes y también en, 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 el, en los países vascos, en países bajos, es que también trabajaba con varios idiomas. Y tener teléfono, teléfono, uh, en, tenía que hablar por teléfono en, 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 en español, luego en italiano, luego en francés, luego en no sé qué. Y uh, después de unos años haciendo eso, es que resultó más fácil para mí cambiar de idioma y no mezclarlo tanto. Uh, claro que a veces sí que se puede mezclar el idioma, es normal, uh, somos todos seres humanos, ¿no? Y tan, tampoco, siendo una persona monolingüe también, uh, es imposible hablar un idioma uh, sin fallo. Es que yo nunca he visto esto en español, en, en alemán, en inglés, en macedonio, en todos mis idiomas de casa. Siempre cuando estoy hablando con nativos, monolingües o gente... Eh, con un nivel muy alto, siempre cometen fallos, siempre, siempre. Um, así que no te preocupes demasiado, demasiado, está bien. Hey Richard, how have you been? You mentioned in Japan that you worked as a network engineer and you studied, and you studied it, okay. Uh, what was your experience? See, I, I did, I am... Um, I got a job um, in the Netherlands as a network engineer, so I, I was put on this kind of course to to learn how to become a network engineer. They needed people with language skills, and they said it was easier to teach somebody 
network engineering than it was to teach somebody a language to a level where you'd be able to um, talk to clients. So I was taken on for actually at that point for my German. Uh, it turned out that I ended up using eight languages in that in that um, in that company, and um, so I used I used eight languages pretty much on a daily basis. Um, but originally I was taken on for German, but I used obviously English as well if I was needed, uh, French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, German, Dutch, and Swedish. I think that was it. Yeah. So those eight, they're the ones that I used. And I used those in a number of roles for many years. Um, and I'd have, I'd have other people sort of come through as well every now and again, but they were the main eight languages that I would use in those jobs. And I would have to keep switching over and over again. Um, but yeah, I, I, I answered a job advert and they, they paid for me to do, to do this, which is cool. Um, Hablo castellano muy bien. Muchas gracias, eh? <laughs> Lo agradezco, Matia. And a question in English. There we go. Well, this will keep Mohammed happy. I hope you're happy. I'm speaking English, Mohammed. <laughs> so what helps you keep uh, constant, uh, good for a little, constantly learning languages? Why am I learning languages constantly? And um, do I feel too overwhelmed or maybe a bit disappointed? Uh, Matia, absolutely. Sometimes it does get overwhelming in terms. Sometimes I am disappointed. Um, it doesn't last very long because um, what I do is I always remind myself that I'm a human being as well and that we all make mistakes and that we all take a long time to learn a language and that it's fine for us to um, not feel like learning one day. It's fine for us to have a bad week. It's fine for us to have to um, reevaluate our priorities and, um, and then go back to the language. What I'll say is sometimes it is a struggle to get back to it. And this is where I think many learners fall down in language learning. I think that... The important thing to remember is set yourself very specific goals. So what I do is I, I book a lesson on italki or I um, set myself time in the morning where I have to get out of bed. I have to learn the language and I'm up and out. And I sometimes, honestly, I don't feel like doing it. And I've had that recently as well, where I didn't feel like getting out of bed, but I did. And, you know, I felt so much better. It was like taking a pill and feel instantly better because even though I may have been a bit behind with the, with the work or where I thought I should be, or I may be making stupid mistakes, um, didn't matter. Um, all mistakes are funny. So if you can laugh at yourself, that's the important thing. And, and I make lots of mistakes. So I get to laugh a lot. <laughs> um, okay. So here we go. Uh, Kako da naučim uh, arabski? O, oh, arabski. Dijem po... Mnogo dobro prašanje. Znači, za mene ja imam provano tuko od Makedonije, ali problema tuka realno je da kad nemamo kontakt s jazikom, to je za mene baš mnogo golema prečka. Znači, ja si mislim da kad imam mnogo, postoje mnogo dobri materijali za arabski od jazik, a zbuka da ti kažem pravo nije do toliko strašna, Liči taka, ama ne je taka. Znači, uh, spored mene, si mislim da ka, to možete go naučiš mnogo brzo. Lo, uh, fintata so, so arabski od za mene beše najvekje, so, so gramatikata i, i, i posle to isto taka so izgovorot i kako da ga naučim zborovite ili ga upotrebamo ko što treba. To je beše ten, teško za mene, stvarno. I, Si mislim da ka najdobro je da zemeš i da najdeš čovjek na Itoki ili nešto taka, da si odbreš može bi nekoj dijalekt, ako sakaš da počneš da samo da zboruješ, naprimjer, zavisi što ti je namerataci u jaziku. Um, zašto sakaš da ga naučiš, sakaš da čitaš ravot i sakaš samo da praviš mojavet, so lugi je vaka. Je, znači, ako je samo za mojavet, ja, ja bih rekao da ka najarno, Taka, samo so, so čovjek u dijalekt, o ti polesno ke bide. Ako je samo da, da čitaš ili da praviš nešto mnogo po ozbiljno, mnogo po seriozno su jaziku, si mislim da može bi pripametno da praviš takov standarden arabski jazik, što se vika fuzha, i to ima jedan kup knjigi što možeš da kupiš. Uh, ima od, uh, ja koriste na fakultet uh, Mastering Arabic, na angliski napišeno taka, i beše došto dobro, uh, samo da kada, kako što kaže po, po, na, staro, na staromakedonski način, saka vreme, treba mnogo, mnogo vreme da go praviš, to je stvarno. I to je samo poleka poleka. I tako je, ke, ke uspeš da, da go naučiš. 
Um, so let's see, next question. Buenas tardes, Richard, desde España. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Todo bien? <ríe> ¿Qué tal, Encarne? ¿Estás bien? Uh, ¿Qué consejos para, para, para qué? Para el chino mandarín. Pues la verdad es que con chino mandarín, Salva, es que siempre um, hay que estudiar cada día y hay que tener en cuenta también que no es un idioma como los los idiomas de Europa. Es que es un idioma que realmente hace falta saber tener también en cuenta que son, uh, son como estructuras. Para hablar, aprender a hablar chino mandarín hay que aprender estructuras más bien que como uh, con, para conjugar verbos o algo así. No hay esto, por ejemplo, en, en chino mandarín. Y yo diría lo mejor, lo mejor es empezar uh, con con libros tipo yo en la universidad tenía un libro que se llamaba Integrated Chinese um, y me gustó mucho y luego pues también con gente de Italki también puedes practicar el idioma depende depende de para mí por ejemplo no tenemos nadie con quien hablar aquí chino mandarín por ejemplo pero a lo mejor en España es España no o en otro país y podrías utilizar el, el idioma con con gente local también a ver Uh, by the way, were you able to learn any Albanian? So, Dian, uh, yes, I speak Albanian. Um, uh, I use it actually in Skopje, um, usually on a daily basis. Um, but I'm, with the lockdown, I've not been using it. So I've been taking italki lessons and speaking Albanian. Um, I watch TV and news in Albanian at home because obviously in Macedonian, it's very easy for me. I don't have any linguistic challenge watching TV in Macedonian. It's my home language. Um, uh, but Albanian is fun to watch. I, I, I love Albanian. Um, I like a lot of, no, I like every language. So I mean, <laughs> I say I love every language because I do. It's really sad. I can't uh, choose any. I love them all. They're all my babies. Um, do you speak any Albanian, Dian? Algún consejo para alemán? Es que hay un, si estás aprendiendo, aprendiendo alemán ahora mismo, eh, en, en Zoloa, que estaba Aña aquí, Zoloa tiene clases de alemán y de español eh, y de otros idiomas también, no eh, y Así que podrías ver Zoloa y tienen en línea también, así que podrías ver esto como para tener clase. Uh, también en YouTube hay una serie que se llama Extra. Eh, se escribe, eh, voy a escribirlo aquí con y, y vas a ver más tarde, ¿vale? A ver um, si funciona extra. Eh, y haces extra uh, German. Lo voy a escribir en inglés en, en YouTube. Y puedes ver esto. Eso es interesante um, para aprender alemán, para practicar el, el, el alemán también. Eh. Um, ok, let me see. Merhaba, ok. I think I'm very, very slow at getting through these. So, Say something in Russian. Что будет по-русски, я не знаю. Я говорю по-русски сейчас, но я я могу я могу уже говорю русски нормально. Но это как сложно, как по-македонски? Нет, но но чуть-чуть без проблем, да, говорю. What's my opinion of? I'm gonna I'm going backwards now because I answered a question. I threw a question right away, and then it took me to the end of all of the comments. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, everyone. Wow. Merhaba. Merhaba, Hakan. Nasılsın? ¿Qué idioma ha sido más fácil aprender? Para mí, para aprender más fácil, yo diría Esperanto, porque es un idioma fácil para hablar, fácil para aprender, de verdad, y porque lo han creado así. Y por eso lo más Uh, y como decido aprender un idioma, también uh, para mí los vínculos con, con gente, traba, trabajo o mi vida personal, los viajes, lo que sea. La verdad es que tiene que tener para mí algo real en mi vida. Algo como por ejemplo, no tiene sentido para mí aprender un idioma como, no sé, coreano o, o japonés muy bien porque no tengo contacto con la cultura. Uh, y eso es el problema en mi vida cotidiana quiero decir, tengo amigos y tal y cual pero amigos muy, muy lejanos y, y tampoco no puedo ir ahí muy a menudo uh, a lo mejor más tarde sí que me gustaría explorar otros idiomas u otros países pero sí que son para mí 
idiomas así, como, más como proyectos, como un, un estudio más serio, como por ejemplo el español, o, o lo que sea. And so, let me see. Uh, no consigo, uh, pobre Dios, aprender do turco. O tal tem como, como quem falar. Uh, tenho medo de conta esse problema. Esse problema com o turco, para mim, é falar com, com a gente na Italk. Eu tenho agora também um professor de turco, porque uma língua que eu falo aqui na Macedônia, falo uh, no centro, mas agora estou a casa sempre, sempre, sempre. Então, não tenho uh, possibilidades para, para sair, para para praticar a língua. Então, I talk, internet. I'm going to try and go a bit faster down some of these because I see that lots of people are writing and I am really slow. Um, I would say that definitely if you're struggling to speak a language, I talk, practice, 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 practice. <laughs> um, okay, thank you very much for all that you inspired. Thank you, you're so sweet, all you people with your lovely comments. Thank you. Um, a question about um, foreign language films with subtitles, yes, it can help foreign, foreign language films with subtitles. Um, I learnt a few of my languages through subtitles. I learnt, um, so Serbian, Bosnian, Croatian, I learnt through subtitles. I learnt um, Dutch through subtitles mostly. Um, and I just used to ask questions and listen to the, the translation. And that was the main way I learnt those languages. It works, uh, you've got to be, It's basically the amount of input you have. You have to keep listening and listening and listening and listening and listening. And eventually it starts to make sense. Um, it's weird. Uh, it's funny. Speak, uh, I speak Ma Russian and Mandarin. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Greetings from Latvia. <laughs> Paulius. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, can you by coincidence? like Lithuanian and Russian both say can you get for book you can Andrew that's exactly right can you get and I think the word for I remember in the word for heart is the same Sirce, um, is the same in these Sirce or something like that and then it's or Sirce in Latvian and then the word for for is Shtiri uh, in Russian and then it's um, Shtiri uh, in or I think in in Latvian if memory serves but there are a lot of those also because of Indo-European roots but yes um, can the Svenska yeah they can you know yeah, so for me it's easier to talk for example for me to talk a norsk for me it's harder but I have not so hard to talk Svenska because I have studied Svenska at the University of Storbritannia for two years so yeah for that is it är det lättare för mig. <laughs> och jag använder den också för, för mitt jobb i Storbritannien och, och i, i, i Holland. Så, så pratade jag ganska uh, ja, varje dag svenska. Um, jag hoppas att, det, att du förstår vad jag säger. Uh, det är ju alltid intressant att, att veta. Um, uh, what's your favorite linguistic coincidences? Um, I don't know. Actually, do you know what? There are linguistic coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences so much. I think there's always some sort of reason behind it normally. Um, but I love um, here, for example, in the Balkans, the Turkish impact on Macedonian particularly is really interesting for me. Um, not just on a vocabulary level, but also on a on a grammatical level, because there's a grammatical influence from Turkish onto Macedonian, which a lot of Macedonians don't yet know. Uh, which is quite cool <laughs> um, and that is the, the I'll just explain so in Slavic languages this is kind of standard past tense form which is normally an L or in Serbian Croatian it's an O or an A and then possibly with an L and whatever else um, but in Macedonian that form has a different meaning um, and so it's not a straightforward past tense it actually means that Um, it can mean, in fact, that you weren't there to witness what happened in the past. And the, a version of this is Mish in, in Turkish. If anybody knows this, this, these languages. Um, it's just really cool because you don't need to ever ask if someone was there. You know by how they use the past tense, if they witnessed the event personally or not. It's really cool. Uh, greetings from Senegal. Oh, that's lovely. Hello. <laughs> Do I speak Wolof? No, I don't. But you know, I was speaking to a Wolof speaker um, in Italian the other day at work. Uh, we have a Wolof speaker at work. Actually, we have two. We have a Finnish 
Finnish colleague of mine speaks Wolof, and uh, but the Wolof from Gambia. Um, I, uh, I was speaking to a friend, well, a work colleague yesterday, who is from Senegal, and she speaks Sen uh, that version of Wolof, which is really cool. I'd love to learn. Why not? All languages are lovely. The uh, Portuguese is very impressionante. Obrigado, Julio. I'm not saying muito engraçado. <laughs> Obrigado. Sim, é de verdade, é um misto de, de português europeu e o português brasileiro agora. Uh, uh, so, please keep multilingual, not just English. Andrew, no worries, I'm keeping it multilingual. I'm answering in whatever language I read. Hello from Romania. Hello there, Jackie. I'm, if I'm getting very slowly, please excuse me. I can see you joined like, like 16 minutes ago, but I'm only just getting to, to, to your message. Um, <laughs> Buona sera. Uh, uh, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Okay, cool. Uh, auch in Deutschland momentan in, in Japan. Uh, okay. Oh, schön. Und wir, oh, Chinesisch. Okay. Du kommst aus China. Aber du sprichst Japanisch und dann auch Deutsch. Ja, sehr gut. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Das ist ja toll. Gut gemacht, Jan. <lacht> Mal gucken, wir sollten eigentlich miteinander reden. <lacht> du kannst mir beim, beim Chinesisch und Japanisch helfen. <lacht> um, okay. How many languages do you speak? You're like a language god. Oh, thank you very much. I don't know if I'm a language god, but I, I use around during the year to different levels, of course. I use around 25 during the year. Um, I use five at home, around 10 locally in this area where I live. And then, um, Another 10 probably for work and travel, usually. I've studied over 50 though, so it's been a while. Uh, it's been a, a long time learning these languages. Uh, so, Dian, yes, I speak a number of, of these different languages. I think your English is different from average standard English. Has it grown different under the influence of all the languages? Uh, Juliana, I don't know. Um, I speak I speak fairly standard northern British English, I think, um, but maybe, I don't know. I always leave accents and my ability to speak a language um, for the listener to decide. I, I really don't mind. If someone says I speak a language badly or with a strange accent or in a strange way, um, that's fine. I'm not going to change people's minds and it doesn't really matter. Um, if I, if I, it, it, there's no point in me trying to do that. So somebody may say my my English sounds weird or my Spanish is bad or my Portuguese isn't very good. And another person might say something very nice about it. I've kind of got used to over the years of hearing lots of very different feedback. And yeah, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. As long as we understand each other, that's amazing. That's the most important thing for me. Um, it's very sweet um, of you to be writing such nice things. Thank you very much. Oh, fala tem novo dia, estuarno, tem novo mil ou teve, estuarno, novo boa, fala te. Considera que existem línguas mais ricas que outras, já sei, vale, vai, sim, isso sim que é interessante, sim, há alguns idiomas com mais pouco abolário, é que, é verdade, é que, por exemplo, o macedonês, Uh, faltan palabras a veces para, para expresar algo, para, para unos objetos también. A veces sí que faltan palabras. Y eso sí que es un problema de verdad, a veces. Um, I'm just going to say it's in English as well because it's a nice question. Um, whether or not there are some languages are richer than others. And I'd say definitely I've, I've come across there are, there are sometimes barriers. And, um, I notice it particularly with Macedonian. There are certain words that I need and I, I, they don't exist, um, or at least they're not commonly understood uh, by people if they do exist. And I tend to find um, that people do borrow and, and they naturally seem to do that. Uh, if they if they need a, an idea or a word, they don't tend to feel it, but they, they will they will borrow it. People get inventive, though. People are very, uh, are very good with languages. I, I have people invent languages and uh, invent words in languages. Um, Thank you so much for all these lovely comments. This is really sweet. Mucha asistente a la de Centro de América. 
aún se va a realizar. Espero bien, Cintia, que vamos a tener una charla también este domingo sobre la conferencia políglota en, en México y vamos a, a hablar y tratar de este tema porque es un tema más grande que, que esa charla ahora, pero entonces si quieres uh, puedes, puedes venir y, y hablar con nosotros también igual, con, conmigo y con Aña y vamos a tratar el tema de, de la conferencia. In, in Mexico, in Cholula. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Cholula conference on Sunday on the Polyglot conference page. So please do join if you're interested in knowing more about that. Um, be happy to have you all along. Привет, очень классно, спасибо. Have you ever taken or do you uh, plan to take any of the Russian exams? Oh wow, uh, no. <laughs> Is the, is the first answer. I, I haven't planned that I haven't taken any. Um, to be honest with Russian, it's a language I've used a lot uh, on my travels. Um, I found that what I can do in Russian is, is fine for, for what I do. Maybe one day, why not? Um, I like Russian. It's a nice language. Um, it's fun to speak and it's, it's been really useful actually for my trips and my travels. I've used it in a number of countries like Cyprus and um, I used it in, in the Middle East. I've used it in Um, yeah, in, in Greece, I've used it in other Russia, uh, former, former Soviet uh, states as well. I've used it a lot to get by, to talk to people. Um, oh, es el idioma más difícil aprender. Uh, pues, no, para mí el georgiano era el idioma más difícil para aprender, Juan, la verdad. Es que porque es una gramática muy diferente y también porque no tengo, no tengo con quién hablar para practicar el idioma. Uh, okay, belong mundo bahasa in Indonesia. Ayo, jangan, uh, jangan malas. Uh, saya bicara, uh, <laughs> bicara dalam bahasa Indonesia sedikit sedikit. Ngak <laughs> uh, bagus, <laughs> kamu, <laughs> Maria. Uh, thank you, <laughs> terima kasih. Uh, um, what's your opinion about people usually in my group uh, say you can't say that you speak more than five languages because Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, Macedonian and Bulgarian are similar. Dian, honestly, I've not met many people. Actually, I've not met many Macedonians who speak proper Bulgarian and um, speak it clearly. Um, there are some. But people, I mean, I'm excluding people that have studied in Bulgaria and done all of their studies there because clearly there are people that do. Um, but people in, uh, in, you know, here with Macedonian as a first language and just go to Bulgaria, normally they kind of fudge Bulgarian or they just speak Macedonian and slowly and they have misunderstandings but they get by right it's not a problem we know it's we know we can communicate okay um there's no pretending on that it's true uh like swedes and norwegians can communicate together you don't need to speak norwegian in norway if you speak swedish you can speak swedish and no one's going to be in having huge difficulties understanding what you say same for macedonian speakers in bulgaria but actually speaking both languages well Very rarely do I meet people who speak them all. Um, obviously with our relationship with Serbia, Croatia and uh, Bosnia particularly, Montenegro, uh, where they speak um, Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian and even Montenegrin now as well. Um, do we, as you know, in Macedonia, we have this kind of, it's a lot easier for us to understand them than it is for potentially people in, especially if you get to Northern Serbia, Um, and into Croatia, it's harder for them to understand Macedonian. Uh, whereas we have TV, songs, everything in, in, in Serbian. And so, um, yeah, for us, it's really not an issue. But can you say that you speak all of the languages separately? Look, I mean, you can say what you want, uh, is my opinion. You can say what you want. Some people are not going to accept it, and that's their decision, and that's up to them. That's their lives, that's their opinion. Say what you want is what I say, Diane. Honestly, um, If you can really, really speak them all so as really separate individual things and you can change really well, it's also difficult. Hey, it's, it's not easy for a lot of English speakers to speak American English properly and speak British English properly or Australian English properly. Even that's difficult and they're all called English, right? So I am going to say, say what you want to say, stick to your guns and don't worry. No one's, we're never going to get everyone to agree on everything. And 
It's a waste of our energy trying to do so. Say something in Russian again. Yeah, <laughs> раз по-русски. Хорошо, но надо писать <laughs> по-русски. И поэтому я могу сказать. <laughs> uh, okay, so, welche, welchen Alban? Okay, Albanisch Lehrer, die du eigentlich du hattest, Maria. Ich habe die von dir ähm, gehört. Du hast eigentlich über sie auf Facebook geschrieben oder so. Und dann habe ich geguckt und dann dachte ich, okay, mit ihr mache ich das. Dann spreche ich dann überhaupt kein Englisch und dann sowieso kein Mazedonisch, denn das eine Albanerin ist. Ähm, wir können eigentlich ja natürlich auf, auf Italienisch sprechen, aber wir sprechen eigentlich nur auf Albanisch. So mein, mein Albanisch ist eigentlich gut genug, um nur Albanisch zu sprechen. Ich mache ja zwar, zwar Fehler, aber es ist nicht so schlimm. Um, und du machst du noch weiter, oder? Um, excellent session. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I hope that you're all you've all been enjoying this. I should really get going now, but thank you so so much for coming. Shalom, shalom, maslom, maslomech. Uh, okay, um, let's see. Dirish watching. Хорошо, спасибо. Thank you very much. Um, uh, okay, thank you very much with the flashcards. We'll take some of the other questions, hopefully, for next time. I'm just conscious that I've got so many. Um, love my Swedish. Thank you very much. I've got so many questions here that I'm never going to get to the end of them. Um, uh, okay. Um, Anna, okay. Anna, tolle, but look at that. We're lacking. And uh, let the column. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. And I think we've. I'm gonna get to the end. See, I had your motivation. Okay, kissing him, sipping. Major Hodgevaj. Edge kitchen, major will be selig. Not very well, though. Unfortunately, my Hungarian needs to get better. Am I might on YouTube. I was hopefully on YouTube, but I don't think it's work. Take care, everyone. Next time we'll do it again, this time next week. And hopefully I'll get this and YouTube working. And everyone can join from both sides. Thank you, thank you all so much for coming and taking the time to spend this hour with me. I've really enjoyed your company and I've enjoyed speaking about languages again. Really, really enjoying this. Thank you for keeping me company for an hour and stay safe, take care, and we'll speak again next week. Be here. See you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.